So Jacqueline, tell us how it came about that you, you've done the Shakes video. Um, I, I had a film that was screening at Cannes and um, a friend saw it and really liked it and um, was keen to look out for projects for me to do, particularly promos. And uh, I, he emailed me the link to the competition, basically the Tiskily competition, and I, as soon as I heard the Shakes track I really liked it and I thought that was what I wanted to do. So I um, came up with a pitch that felt really natural to me. It's kind of narrative based, it's a bit quirky. I felt it really suited the band. And um, I was just really lucky that Tiskily liked it too and that they chose it. Tell us about your idea for the video. Basically, I kind of like the fact that the band were a tiny bit retro and um, had this idea kind of evolving uh, from the AHA video take on me with the kind of animation. And um, so basically it's a narrative. All of my ideas tend to be stories. Um, and it's a story of a girl kind of fantasizing about the shakes and fantasizing in fact about killing them because she doesn't want to like them. And then uh, they kind of rescue her from a life of drudgery. So uh, I, thought, I thought that was true of what they would do for a lot of people. Excellent. <laughs> and how did the actual video shoot go for you? The video shoot was really intense. We had a very small amount of time and a lot to do. And we were really lucky, we got helped out by a lot of people who did amazing favours, in particular um, the animation company, because so much of the video was based on the animation. And we could never have afforded to pay for that to be done properly. So the animation, Tandem Animation, um, totally helped us out. And uh, that, the animation took about six weeks to complete, but the shoot was only three days and the edit was about a month. Excellent. And has this opened new opportunities? Has this opened doors for you? Are you going to do more promos? Do you have anything else in the pipeline? I have a couple more promos in the pipeline. Um, and that's cool for me because I really love music and I really love uh, interpreting music visually. But my focus recently has been on um, a feature film script that I'm writing, uh, which has been optioned by a production company called Cubista. So very much hoping, fingers crossed, in the next couple of years that will happen. And um, that's where the focus of my energy really is at the moment. And it started here with the shakes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> a fantastic journey. Tell us what it was like working with shakes. They're great fun. They've got no ego. So they were really nice to... Sometimes with bands you find there's a bit of uh, a kind of um, snobbery. You have to kind of wrangle them a bit like children. But the shakes were great and shut up when they were supposed to show up and were just lovely and brought everyone tea and stuff. And, uh, we're very cute to work with. Um, yeah, a thoroughly enjoyable experience. Nice guys. So will you, now that you're moving on to bigger and better things, will you direct more videos for the Shakes in the future? Yeah, I think there's some plans afoot to, um, for me to edit down the footage that was shot for the Valentine gig. Um, the next video is going to be a lot largely composed of footage that the fans shot on their mobile phones during a special gig that they held at 93 feet east. So once you've got all that footage together, I think I might be involved in that.